in the first two years I was on this school board, it was all about rallying in the legislature for hold harmless money. We had people's attention. Hey, this was a big fix. A lot of parts moved. There are some of us districts that got left out. We need money to make sure that we can continue to serve our families and students in the way that they expect to be served and deserve to be served. And in 18 and 19, we were pretty successful at all of those efforts. But there was limited patience left in the legislature for having K-12 education come back and knock on their door and say, hey, you screwed that up, we need this money. Hey, you screwed that up, we need that money to keep the institutions where they were. And then a pandemic happened, and there was a bunch of federal money. And so we patched the holes in the boat for two more years, and now here we are. And if you look at the governor's budget, you look at all of the banner legislation that's out there in this legislative cycle, K-12 education is not on top of many people's radar. People are talking about important things, housing, homelessness, yes, our state has to address those problems. But the third of school districts in the state that got kneecapped by the McCleary Compromise, of which we are the most impacted, as Superintendent pointed out, on the Puget Sound area, bordering I-5. If, if we don't get traction in the legislature, we have incredibly hard, bad conversations that are gonna happen this spring. So, for everyone that looks at Governor Inslee's budget and sees $74 million more for special education, right? That's a maybe a million extra dollars for the Olympia School District. That's 10% of what we are currently spending out of our levy to make up for what the state's not funding here. It comes nowhere close to solving that problem in Olympia. For example, the family liaisons, one of the most life-changing investments we've made for many families across our elementary school campuses. A, a, a job that the state legislature itself and its Blue Ribbon Commission on how to improve staffing in schools said was a critical new job classification to add to our educational system isn't funded. And we're funding it out of ESSER money. Where are we gonna find those dollars? So, these are really hard conversations. This entire school district needs the community to mobilize now to support us during this legislative cycle, to get K-12 education back up the agenda because it's slid on nearly everyone's agenda that, that matters up at the dome.